Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're going to guide you through setting up your StreamPet widgets. This overview will give you the basics, and for more detailed instructions, be sure to check out the full text guides on our site. First step. Make sure you have a Stream Elements account. Our widgets are designed to integrate seamlessly with it, and it's free to use. Installation. Begin by logging into Stream Elements with your YouTube or Twitch account. Next, download and unzip your widget package. In the widget folder, you'll find the file for your streaming platform. Just double-click it to install. Widget Customization Once installed, head over to your Stream Elements dashboard to start customizing your widget. Look for your widget and hit Edit. Under Layers, select your widget's name to access its settings. And that's it. You're now ready to customize your widget. Let's explore some basic settings. General settings. Under general settings, you'll adjust the key behaviors of your pet. Sleep timeout is where you set how long your pet waits before taking a nap if nothing happens. For example, a 30 second timeout means your pet snoozes if there's no interaction. Command cooldown helps manage your chat by setting a time limit between commands. It keeps things organized and your pet from getting overwhelmed. Command symbol lets you pick a special character to start chat commands. The exclamation mark is the default, but feel free to choose your own. Speech bubble color. This section is all about customizing your pet's speech bubble. Let's add some color to their words. Border color changes the outline of the speech bubble for a bit of extra style. Fill color lets you choose the main color for the speech bubble's background. Love percentage color is for the love command. Change this to make those special messages stand out. Event reactions. In event reactions, you can set up how your pet responds to different stream events, like new followers or donations. Event reaction lets you choose an animation for each event, or none if you prefer a simpler approach. Event message template is where you craft the messages for each event reaction. Chat command settings. This section is where you get creative with custom chat commands. Define how your pet reacts and interacts with your audience. Command type has three settings. Disabled means it's off. Animation for just the movement. And text adds a message to play along the animation. The command setting lets you choose the trigger word for your pet's reaction in chat. Pair it with the symbol you set earlier and watch your pet spring into action. Command animation is where you select an animation for your pet when a command is used. Command template is a more advanced feature. Use it for simple text or dynamic responses. Let's dive deeper into it a bit later. Command permission sets who can use each command, from all viewers to just you. All, the base level, accessible to everyone in the chat. Subscriber includes access to all commands plus subscriber-specific commands. VIP encompasses all and subscriber commands along with exclusive VIP commands. Moderator grants use of all, subscriber, VIP, and also commands reserved for moderators. Broadcaster, the highest level, with access to all command levels, including those exclusive to the broadcaster. 
pre-configured chat commands. We've included some pre-configured chat commands to get you started. Make sure to test them and adjust permissions as needed before your live stream. Love initiates a fun interaction that calculates and displays a compatibility percentage between the streamer and the viewer who uses the command. Subs provides the current count of the streamer's subscribers. Followers provides the current count of your followers. Pet activates a petting animation for your stream pet with no accompanying message. Shoutout shows a personalized shoutout to a specific user in the chat. Hello shows a welcoming hello animation on your stream. Angry triggers your stream. Pet's angry animation, no text included. Welcome sends out a greeting message to a viewer. Announce broadcasts a custom announcement to your viewers. Advanced customization text styles. Okay, now we came to the most complicated part of our setup guide, customizing your stream pet's responses. All of our pet widgets support markdown for text styling. Here's how you can apply different styles. To make text bold, surround it with double asterisks. For italic text, use single asterisks. To underline text, use double underscores. And for strike through, use double tildes. You can also combine these styles. For bold and italic, use three asterisks. For bold and underline, combine double underscores and double asterisks. And for full combination of all styles, nest the markers accordingly. Advanced customization. Dynamic variables. Dynamic variables are special codes that you can use to make your stream's text elements automatically update with live specific information from your streaming session. Think of them as shortcuts that pull in real-time data, like a viewer's name or the number of new followers you have. To use a variable, you just need to enclose the variable's name in double curly brackets like this. Please take note. Our widgets support dozens of variables and if you want to get really deep into them, please check the text version of the setup guide on our site. And here are some basic examples. If you want your stream pet to greet the latest person who raided your channel, you would use session raid latest name. So if a viewer named Misha raided you, it would automatically say Misha. To show how much the highest donor contributed in the current session, write session tip top session donation amount. If the top donation was $420.69, it would display $420.69. Adding the widget to your streaming software. Please take note, for all of your customizations to take effect, you need to press save in the top right corner of the editor and refresh the page before adding the widget to your streaming software. OBS Studio. Copy the URL of your widget from the Stream Elements dashboard. Open OBS Studio. Add a browser source, give it a name, and press OK. Paste the URL you've copied. Set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Press OK and we're done. Streamlabs Desktop. Copy the URL of your widget from the Stream Elements dashboard. Open Streamlabs Desktop. Click Add a new source in the Sources section. Choose Browser Source. Give it a name and press Add Source. Paste the URL you've copied previously. Set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Now press close and that's it. Your widget is ready to use. Thanks for tuning into our setup guide. For more detailed information, our text guides are there to help. If you need any assistance, feel free to reach out. Enjoy streaming with your new stream pet.